Hi Hokies! I'm Julia and I am a dietetic intern with Hokie Wellness and thank you so much for tuning in to Ask the Dietitian today. I am really excited about the submission question we're going to talk about today. I feel like it's a very hot topic and lots of people are probably curious about it. So let's get into it. Our question today is does a zero calorie energy drink spike blood sugar levels? So this is a great question. I feel like energy drinks are all the rage right now, trendy. Uh, but there's two things that we want to look at when talking about our blood sugar levels uh, in regards to these zero calorie energy drinks. So those are artificial sweeteners and caffeine. So we're going to start with artificial sweeteners. Uh, they are a great tool, especially if you're trying to reduce your intake of sugar. Um, so if you're diabetic, this might be something you're trying to do. Um, artificial sweeteners or sugars don't count as calories or carbohydrates, or at least they have very little in them. Uh, so they do not cause a blood sugar spike or raise blood sugar levels at all uh, or affect your insulin. So uh, they can be a great tool. I would say from a nutritional standpoint, you want to try and have whole foods and no processed foods in your diet. Um, and if you want sugar, eat regular sugar, but I'm going to be honest, I have an energy drink right here <laughs> and I preach all foods in moderation. Uh, life's all about balance. There's artificial sweeteners and everything. It's hard to avoid. Um, and if you like it, have it in moderation. Uh, I would say there's a lot of conflicting research around artificial sweeteners. Uh, you can really find both sides on the internet, but the most common artificial sweeteners like sucralose, aspartame, erythritol, there's probably three that you've heard of, uh, have been reviewed and regulated and deemed safe by the FDA. So the FDA reviews lots of food and drug and medications um, and makes sure they're safe. And those three are one of the the main three artificial sweeteners that have been approved by them. So they are okay to have. Um, some people may experience GI symptoms from artificial sweeteners. So things like bloating, poor digestion, constipation. So if that happens to you when you have artificial sweeteners, artificial sugars might not be your friend. So I would avoid them, but it's definitely a personal choice and everything in moderation, right? <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about caffeine. Uh, so there's lots of research showing that caffeine does lower your insulin sensitivity. So what does that mean? <laughs> insulin is a hormone in our body that absorbs sugar from our blood. So how does sugar get into our blood? It's from what we eat. So whatever we eat and drink that has sugar, carbohydrate in it, it gets into our blood, which is a good thing. And insulin takes that sugar from our blood and puts it into our body for us to use. Um, so when your insulin sensitivity is decreased, that insulin isn't working as productively as it should. So for example, if you're a diabetic and you have lower insulin levels, or maybe you don't produce any insulin at all, so you're having to inject insulin, um, your body is already kind of having a hard time absorbing that sugar. So if caffeine lowers that insulin sensitivity, um, it's just gonna make it really hard for that for your body to keep absorbing those sugars. Um, so if those sugars build up in your blood, that's what causes those high blood sugar levels. Um, so it sounds really serious. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, the USDA recommends 400 milligrams of caffeine. Most people can tolerate daily. Uh, I think for diabetics, I would test it. So kind of play around with it if you're a diabetic, <laughs> see how, much caffeine you can tolerate before your blood sugar spikes. So like have some coffee, um, have half of an energy drink, see if like 100 or 200 milligrams is maybe more of your sweet spot to not affect those blood sugar levels. So takeaway message, <laughs> do zero calorie energy drinks affect your blood sugar levels? Short answer, no, <laughs> it shouldn't. Um, the only thing that might is that caffeine. So it really, caffeine, differs from person to person on those blood sugar levels, how much it'll change it. Uh, so you, if you're a diabetic and needing to really watch your sugars, then I would just test it after you have caffeine. Uh, I hope this answered your question. 
and please like and subscribe for this Hokey Wellness channel and please comment if you liked this video or if you have any more questions, if I uh, could expand more on the topic, I would be happy to. Thank you.